Hello, it's Ollie from GetGeek.net and today we're doing a video to show you how to set up Bloom uh, which is a plugin by Elegant Themes uh, for uh, putting a form on your website to take in emails from uh, users to put them on your subscription list. Um, now, if you don't have Bloom, uh, then I highly recommend it, and so I highly recommend subscribing to uh, the Elegant Themes bundle. Uh, there's lots of great um, plugins and themes in there, including Divi. Um, now, I, if you're watching this video, I presume you already have that. Um, so, uh, basically, um, there's a couple of prerequisites for this. I'm going to be using MailChimp, and the reason why I'm using MailChimp is because when you're starting blogging, or starting your website, you can get up to 2,000 subscribers for free, which is great because when people are starting out, then things may not, you may not get email subscribers that quickly. And so you could, other services, you could be paying a monthly fee and you're not going anywhere that quickly. Um, and that was certainly the case for, for myself. Um, now, uh, I, if you don't have a mailing list on your website, then I also, recommend that you start taking emails straight away um, as it's a great way to keep in contact with your clients and uh, there's actually quite a few reasons why I would recommend that so I'm probably going to do another video on that uh, explaining that and I will also do a video on setting up MailChimp um, and when I do I will put the links below this video but for now I'm just going to show you how to set up Bloom so let's get stuck in so basically I presume you've also uploaded the plugin um, once you've downloaded it from the website now if you go to Bloom um, if you go new opt-in and an opt-in is basically the form which will appear on the website where people will put their email addresses into so we're going to go new opt-in and there's six different options here now I all of them have their pros and cons and I mean some of them are more intrusive than others so I'm quite the kind of person who doesn't want to like put something right in front of the users so they can't see the content underneath I'd rather put something on the side and then if someone's enjoying the content then let them sign up or I mean there's other options as well where you can show the pop-up at the very end of the article so then it's not always in the way um, so I'm going to have a fly-in one, which means it should always be there, um, but it should be unintrusive. So I'm going to call it uh, opt-in one. Ooh, if I can spell correctly today. Uh, now I've already set up my Mailchimp account on Bloom. Um, now the reason I did that is because you, sh you would have to see my API key otherwise. So um, Basically, you need to pick MailChimp from here, and then you can pick your account, which I set up earlier. And then you will also need to have a list set up on MailChimp, um, which is basically where you're going to keep all your subscribers. And I have one called Get Geek Newsletter. So we're going to go with that. Then, if you press Next, you then are given a whole host of pre-made templates, uh, which can all be customized. And we're going to go into the customization afterwards. Um, and Basically, because my site at the moment is just the basic Divi site, apart from the logo, um, it's black and white, so I'm going to go with something similar to that. So I may go with this one for now. So if we go down to the bottom, go next. Now, if we preview that, you can see it's pretty basic. Um, and to be fair, it kind of says everything that we need. So I'm probably going to leave the text as it is, but you can put whatever you want in here. Um, now I'm going to choose an image and I'm going to replace this with our logo. So uh, go set opt-in image. So that's a PNG with a transparent background. So if we preview that now, you can then see that there. It's probably not the best resolution, that image, but uh, it will do for now. Um, then, I mean, there's loads of customizations here. You can choose where your text goes. You can choose uh, how the image loads in. Um, you can change fonts and colors, uh, things like that. Um, so that's all up to you how you want to do that. Now, I'm going to say I want the form on the bottom. And the name field basically I would highly recommend taking in the name field and the reason for that is it will be stored in your MailChimp account 
Now, if it's stored in your MailChimp account, that means you can personalize emails to people um, and say, uh, hey, Ollie, or hey, Dave. Um, so it just gives a, a little bit of personality to the email. So I, I don't need their last names. A single name will do. Um, um, and leave the rest. So basically, at the moment, it looks like this. Uh, so your name text there would be what is the text in the box before you, someone starts typing, and the email is the same. And then subscribe. The button text is says subscribe. So I'm going to leave that as that. Um, then uh, so there's just more cost customization of the form if you want to. And I may just change the edge style so it kind of directing users down to the the text boxes to subscribe a bit of a subtle T on it um, and then I mean I may just put something in here we will never sell your email to anyone um, and so we're gonna go next on that about this CSS custom CSS here if you did want to customize that that is up to you yourself but we're going to go onwards. Um, now, there's different ways to fly in. So I'm going to choose on the right, because normally my blog posts around this area of the site. So if it pops up down here, then it shouldn't be uh, too intrusive. I don't, I wouldn't want to go center. Um, now, there's loads of loading settings here. Um, and I would like it to slide up. Now the trigger after time delay basically this means it will not show when someone comes to your site straight away it will only show after so many seconds which is kind of good because at the start well, someone may not be reading an article and so they may not want to see the sign up box it depends how intrusive your pop up is um, but you could say I'm gonna do this after 10 seconds we're gonna pop up um, or you can trigger it after inactivity or trigger when they get to the bottom of the post or there's, there's loads of different events that basically can trigger showing the box uh, now this is completely up to you now um, there's some further options here you can choose where it is displayed on your site now for this demo I'm just going to say everything but you can pick whatever you like you may not want it on certain things like uh, uh, projects or archives or something like that but we'll just go with everything and if you want you for example you may not want to show it on your contact page or something like that so again you could put it in the do not display on these pages you could pick a page name now, at the moment I've only got a sample page because it's just a uh, a local copy of WordPress with nothing on it um, and again, you can do the same with specific posts and say you don't want to show on these posts. And you can create more than one opt-in. So basically, if you had uh, a few posts on Excel and then a few posts on web design, you may want to say on the Excel ones that you're going to give away something to do with Excel, um, like a, a guide to Excel or some coding tutorials or something like that. And then on the other opt-in you may that's related to web design you may want to give away um, s like, like I do a resource list for web design now I highly re recommend giving an incentive to users to uh, sign up to your website as well because uh, I had um, a subscription box on my website for a while uh, without an incentive and I I was getting email subscribers but not as many as when you offer an incentive so I highly recommend doing that um, so if we go next, now it's basically you can see your success action, and I'm going to go and save that. So now we've got our opt-in here. So as time goes on, you will see these values increment. So that's the number of people who viewed your opt-in, and then the conversions are the number of people who've signed up, and then there's a percentage of the two basically. So if we go to this website now, hopefully we should see it um, now I can't remember did we set a, a delay on this possibly we did so you can go back to this um, and customize it later on just by clicking on the cog here so we said originally oh, delay 10 seconds ah so there we go after 10 seconds this has decided to pop up but you can see our footer isn't that clear so you may want to customize that uh, with some CSS um, 
but yeah it's it's really flexible as you can see um, and there's tons of customization so at the end of the day I'm not going to go through everything because it's it's up to you to um, how you want to style your uh, your opt-in form but I, I hope this video has been helpful uh, if it has then give it a thumbs up um, and if subscribe to the channel um, and if there's any other specific videos you'd like to see me do then please let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to do them it's been Ollie from Get Geek thank you very much